This video will be the first in a series of video focusing on the project lifecycle management. Um, if you have watched some of the other videos, we have shared some videos that focusing on the project setup and the different step of the project setup. And once the project is fully set up in the system and uh, available in the system, of course, activated, then we can start to manage the life cycle, which means manage stage by stage. So I will show you briefly in this video and then uh, in subsequent videos as well. So let's say you come to the home page and you want to go and uh, edit a project or, or work on a project and you can do it from two places. You can go to portfolio management and to the project program list and find out where your project is. And uh, on the right, you will be able to view it or edit it. So that's one way you can access an existing project. The other way I will go to, we can go straight to project management and we go to PLC management. Now, if you have many projects in the system, um, the system will always bring you back to the last project you were working on. So if you have many projects in the system, in this case, in, in this system here, I only have one, uh, you can go from here and you can select the project. So if you want to change the project, let's say you might be managing multiple projects and uh, you work. So when you come back, you will always come back to the last project, but you can change it from here. So now, since we only have one project, uh, you have the project here uh, and notice this section here is open, whereas, whereas these things are closed. Now, if, uh, in one of the videos, we talk about tailored method selection. So the PLC here will be in accordance, in accordance with the method that we have selected for this project. In this case, we have selected a, what we call a small, simple project, and it has seven stages. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and the first one, it's open. And you can see as well, there are you know information about in progress and, and things of that nature. Now on the right side, before I go I continue on this, on the right side, you will see the project information. So the project name, the sponsor, the idea generator, the start, the activated date, the completion date. And notice for completion date, approved plan and forecast is empty because we haven't done anything yet and we have done we have not done any estimating yet or any planning yet. So that is more like the home screen of, uh, of the PLC management. Again, I'm repeating since we came here, this is the first step. The first step is what we call, uh, you know, if, in this case, we call it concept and feasibility stage, but you know, you forget what these words are because each method might have a different name for that deliverable. So in this small, simple project, uh, well, actually, let me back up. In large project, medium to large project, we separate the concept from the feasibility stages. So we have two stages in those things. Uh, and the discovery phase, you can see here that this is the discovery phase. Um, and so on medium to large project, we have concept stage and feasibility stage. In the small project and in the micro project, we combine them. Now we are going to review all these tailored method and the name might be different, but in general, whatever that name of the stage is, you will see it here. So in this case, this stage is a concept and feasibility stage, and it says it's in progress. Now, how do we manage project? If you have watched some of our project on methodology, on, on what is a PM methodology, we always say the methodology must have a life cycle. As you can see here, there is a life cycle. Uh, and uh, it must have stages, and as you can see, we have stages. Every stage must have a deliverable, and as you can see here, there will be stage deliverables that we need to produce. Okay, and uh, it needs to have a stage gate. So when we finish with the stage deliverable, there will be a gate. You will see it later, and we need to manage every stage. Now, to manage every stage. We use uh, a similar concept to what PMI and ISO advocate, which is a process group. Uh, PMI and ISO have five, initiate, plan, execute, uh, uh, control, and close. Um, for simple project, we have four, because we assume the initiate is done at the previous gate, so we don't need to initiate. And then um, we plan the stage, we manage and control the stage, we produce the stage deliverable, and when we're done, we can close the stage. 
and that the same screen here what you see here it will repeat for every stage below it so that's very important to understand now for some of the large complex project we have another version of this we call it the advanced stage management process actually what we hear this thing here right this is what we call the stage management process the simplified stage management process for large and complex project or when the stages are quite massive, like for example, an engineering phase stage or a construction stage uh, or an architectural design stage that could be, you know, quite long in time, cost a lot of money and many people are involved. We use something we call the advanced stage management process. And in that case, we will have six processes. We will explain this, uh, the advanced stage management in a future video. So as you can see now, what we have that uh, we have to plan the stage, we control the stage, we need to produce a deliverable, and we need to close the stage when done. And once it's done, depend on the tailored method, each tailored method could have different settings. Uh, they depend on the tailored method. Uh, typically, if uh, the setting would be when we're done with this, when, we, uh, when the stage gate is approved, right, we come down and work on uh, we will uh, we will go on to work on the next stage and the next stage and the next stage until we are done. I will close this video here and in the next video I will start talk about the different steps.